I, I gotta be honest with you, I, I could not conceive that Canada could actually have a problem on something so basic as literacy, numeracy, and critical thinking skills. I mean, we're a modern knowledge-based economy. We have a sophisticated uh, education system that actually delivers very solid results. How could we actually have a problem with something so basic? So imagine my, my surprise when the stat you've now heard many times is close to five in 10 Canadians, Albertans still a little bit better than average, 45% of Albertans don't have the desired level of literacy to succeed in a modern knowledge-based economy. Uh, I was blown away. And I found something really interesting. When I was working on that research, like many of you, you know, you, you go home and you spend time with your family and friends on weekends. Most of the times when I tell them what I'm working on, their eyes glaze over, they lose focus, they don't listen to what I'm saying. Uh, but when I said that five in ten Canadian adults don't have the desired level of literacy, it actually provoked a response. You know, we actually had a debate. And a couple of things occurred to me. The first one is that this is a serious issue. And people that have strong literacy skills utterly take them for granted. They, they, they can't imagine a world without them. So they can't imagine what life is like or the state of, of, of weak literacy. The other dimension is that there's a lot of people that have weak literacy skills that don't actually recognize that if they increase their skill capacity, it would unlock a lot of opportunity. In fact, you have to be very careful how you have conversations with people around motivating them to increase their, their skills. Because if you tell somebody that, you know, you know your literacy skills are weak, man, you, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> uh, I got myself in enormous trouble one, one day because I, I, I was on uh, uh, a TV show and the, the host was being very provocative and was challenging me on this. And he, you know, he wouldn't let it go. He kept pushing back. And finally I said, look, you know, I've got members of my family that, that, that wouldn't meet the desired level of literacy. And you know what happened. <laughs> you know, the minute I got to finish the interview, I get this phone call from my mother-in-law who said, boom. <laughs> sort of like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's people on your side of the family. <laughs> Uh, people with stronger literacy skills are more likely to vote, they're more likely to volunteer. They're basically more, more engaged. I did a few back in the envelope economic calculations. So if, um, if we took everyone, everyone's current literacy skills and basically moved them up one category, so move, move, the, move the weak or the poor to the weak and the weak to the strong, you would create 800,000 jobs in Canada. StatsCan says that if you increase literacy scores by 1%, you increase labor productivity by 2.5%, and you increase output per worker by 1.5%.